Glaciers Are My Passion, and When the Ice is Gone is my new book. It's about Greenland and scientists who in the 1960s lived inside the ice sheet, drilled nearly a mile of ice, and then retrieved 69 pounds of frozen soil, a first. Greenland is a remote Arctic island with outsized military importance. In World War II, the Americans built bases there to keep the Nazis at bay. Then came the fear of Soviet invasion over the pole. Understanding ice and snow was imperative. The U.S. Army hired Henri Bader, a Swiss scientist. The purpose of deep ice coring is to get information on conditions deep down in the glacier. And since conditions are simplest on the high ice caps, this is where we have been drilling. In Greenland, he led a decade-long mission optimizing over-snow vehicles, designing under-snow bases, drilling ice cores, and deciphering the history of Earth's climate contained in the island's ice. Camp Century was the finale, a city for 200 built inside the ice, complete with a nuclear reactor, hot showers, and a science trench where a drill rig spun for years. In 1966, Army engineers reached the bottom of the ice sheet and kept going through more than three feet of frozen soil. When the ice core moved to Colorado in 1994, that soil was nowhere to be found. In 2019, I flew to Copenhagen. There I saw the soil, newly rediscovered. Three months later, we melted the first samples and found something exceptional. Wood, plants, moss, and insects. Bits of a frozen ecosystem preserved under the ice. Now there was no doubt. Greenland's ice had once melted long before people burning fossil fuels ever warmed Earth's climate. This was an exciting but sobering moment. With temperatures now soaring, it meant that the ice sheet would almost certainly melt, releasing vast amounts of water into the sea and raising the level of the global ocean as much as 25 feet. Greenland wraps its long arms around the world. When its ice is gone, hundreds of millions of people will find their lives submerged under rising seas. We ignore the fragility of Greenland's ice sheet at our own peril.